Oh, that looks so. Damn. That's bright. Y'all can't see me. Morning thoughts. <laughs> Morning thoughts. Morning thoughts. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. Let me see something. Shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work this morning. Extra special big up shout out to the people who work multiple jobs. I have the utmost respect for you. Shout out to my entrepreneurs, my stay-at-home moms and pops, my retirees. Shout out to the drivers, the Uber driver, Lyft driver, truck driver, taxi driver, food delivery drivers, round town and long distance truck drivers. Shout out to every single clean-hearted, good-hearted person who wants good for others as much as you want good for yourself. I don't know what's going on with my lighting this morning. I have all the cameras turned away from me, all the lights turned away from me. And it still look like this, you know. All right, see it here. The camera is reconfiguring itself. Boom, there we have it. All right, here we are this morning. Shout out to the people going out and coming in and all these things. Big up on yourself, everybody. They are, and they are early. We have a lot to talk about this morning. Let me make sure I set a phone line up and running because who wants to call in is free to call in. Let me pin the number at the top. It's one eight zero six. One eight zero six five eight seven eight nine five three. All right, and that's the calling number free on WhatsApp. I hear a man type like secretary. Ah, oh. here I am this morning. What well, go on, people? Listen up. So many things have happened. Let me run down the list before we big up some people this morning. Uh, Donna Lee updates, case moved, prosecution submits a uh, something that we're going to speak about. As you come in, link up the live, like up the live. As you come, Rommel Wright says, as you come in, like up the live. Big up yourself, Rommel. As you come in, like up the live. As you come in, like up the live. As you come in, like up the live. There's 219 people watching. I should have at least 200 likes or at least 200 thumbs up. Don't do me like the, me, the remake of the Mermaid movie that got a million plus dislikes and on account dislike me anyway, so because they took that option away. <laughs> Anyhow, Donnelly update. We're gonna go into that in detail because there's information released from that case that a lot of people don't understand. All right. I went into a law dictionary to clarify what I go on in this case. See? Harsh Chang says, shoot to kill. And Harsh Chang is the Minister of National Security in Jamaica. And the person who I said before does not have Jamaica's best interest at heart. Because at the end of the day, he is a Chinaman. Yeah, Jamaica's Minister of National Security is a Chinaman. I said that before, enough people cuss me out. So I'm a I'm a China, but I'm not them kind of China. There's a Jamaican in Banaria, a Jamaican, all these other things. Okay. Um... I want to see how crime and violence, especially violence, is going on in Jamaica. See? And this is our Minister of National Security and has been for quite some time. Anyways, him come out finally and tell the law enforcement officials to shoot to kill. But under the uh, context of which it was said, I must say I'm kind of in agreement with what he's saying. But let's get into the details of it, though, because they are whipping him and lashing him left, right, and center from lawyers to opposition, politicians. So everybody else has something to say, and it's not right for him to tell police and soldiers about shoot to kill. So we're going to talk about that. I don't know if y'all saw the video where the policeman threw the man over the wall. Threw him over a wall. <laughs> we have to laugh still. It's not funny, because if it happened to me, I wouldn't find it funny. And if it happened to any of my relatives, I wouldn't find it funny, but... I always say tech serious thing make joke and we laugh until it happens to us. That's just us. See? So, the police hoist him up over the wall, my friend. I want a nice drop to, you know, over the wall. Kind of remind me of my uncle son's son, my granduncle. Drink a flask of rum and stagger across the street. They bet him. He couldn't drink off a quarter rum and him drink a quarter junk body. Stagger across the street and kin over one wall. And the wall was small on one side. And over the back side of the wall was a deep drop. And knock his head and all these things. Got up, walked all the way home. And him lived far from the wall. 
reach him yard, lay down and dead. They didn't find him for like two, three days because a man will live by himself, right? Way up in the bush and thing. Anyhow, the police that throw the man over the wall. May I go say something about that? Uh, PNP speech. Apparently, it's politics time in Jamaica again, right? So <laughs> everybody is out. But damn, I had no idea that the J uh, PNP, you see, I told you all before, right? Whenever it's politics time in Jamaica, you're going to see more people than people in Jamaica. I don't know if some of them fly in from foreign or where, but when, it, when it's JLP time, you will see a sea of green. When it's PNP time, you will see a sea of orange. When there's no more no drilling in cockpit country, you will see a handful of people that look like one like a backyard party circle. And I wonder why. If they're that driven to stand up for their political parties and them come out and them festive in them colors and they make a whole lot of noise. Boop, boop, pom, 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 pee, pee, pom, pom, horns and all these things. Even during the speech that each one of these politicians representing the party was giving, you couldn't even hear what the people them are saying, which tells me that the people that are in attendance, they don't even care what the politician is saying. Me couldn't hear it. All I heard was, yes, and we have to do one more pop, pop, pee, pee, pop, and then one more, one more, and pop, pop, pee, pee, pop. That's all you heard. I would like to hear what they were saying. What is it that they're offering? What is it they're putting on the table? The people in attendance, keen observation. They don't give a damn what them politicians are saying. Them love them party and they're out for to support their party and to make sure that their party get back in power. So you see when you start ball and cry, when you don't cry in my direction here, because I see the foolishness again. Now, same thing is happening. And in, in one of these speeches yesterday, I don't I don't quite know who it is. I'll find the speech and I'll show it to you. My man, I refer to Andrew Holness as bro evil. If the man said bro evil or whatever, <laughs> me say me there, me there I laugh, me I laugh after all of them. We are not the same, was the name of the speech. We are not the same. Then wait till Andrew left the island and a whole big PNP, PNP party. I wonder if he did that on the island if he would have shut it down as encountering it with a big old JLP gathering or something. It's politics time again. No foolishness going on on the island. And no foolish Jamaicans are falling for all of it. Once again, you can UIC them, UIC them. Hey, go look up the UIC. Let me tell you something. You know that saying, if you want to hide the truth from black people, put it in our book. Mm. A true, a true, a true. Or put it in text. Yeah. Because we don't really deal with book anymore. When last one read a book? Nowadays people are read ebook and all these things. Our people don't read. Most of our people read comments on social media. And their opinions are formed based on comments on social media. How many people said them don't like this? Whatever our topic come up. People normally listen to what's being said while they're scrolling the comment section. It's like when me put up a video. People not just sit down and listen and watch. They're scrolling the comment section to see who is here before or who is here when them like or them know or who is here that was on the last video where them can agree with or who is here where them can cuss out in the comment section or how many people like this. If a lot of people like it and the comments are in favor of the video, they'll drop a favorable comment as well. If a lot of people don't like it, they will drop a comment that shows that them don't like it neither. They don't even care about what's being said. After a while, scrolling through the comment section, they don't even hear anymore what is being said. Them just love what other people are saying under the video. So that is how our society is. That is how our people are. That's why when you go to these political gatherings, you don't hear nothing they are saying. When the politician up there preach, we are not the same. I'm not, I'm not. And the rest of that is how can you come to a political gathering 
to hear what your party leaders are saying and on the drown out the people them with some big horns. And yeah, yeah, the whole time. So I don't know, hear the agenda. One of them, poli one of them politicians here could have said, we're going to move the whole lot and go into a concentration camp down upon the West End. We started building them already. We're going to call them free housing. And everybody is going to live for free. This is our version of prosperity. And we want you to prosper in the concentration camp. Them where we are built for now. And see everybody here. All them here is prosperity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday morning, first thing, we start out in the south end of Clarendon. Get up, everybody. We are going to be using our security forces. You are going to be getting a free ride to this place we call heaven on earth. It's a concentration camp. Don't let that go over your head. But we are here for your prosperity. Again, the only thing them here was prosperity and free ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pop, pop, pee, pee, pop, pop, pee, 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 pop. <laughs> the uh, yo. I'm watching my people, right? And it's like, what the, f like, where, where is our um, intelligence? Where is our, slow down, you talk too fast. Run that by way again. Hold on, let me want to hear what you just said. That's all. None of that, you know. Pop, pop, pee, pee, pop, pop. And then when everybody line up Monday morning now, I want to go on. Charge you in the ear, I want to go on. You don't see man them down there so with the whole heap of jeep them and the gun them. Yeah, but with them there around your sofa can nothing and go on around it. Brother, them said the whole of we have to go left. We are go up in the back of the truck them. Go up in which back of which truck when? And then here will be your government. We issued a warning last week at the political rally where we explained to you that you will be going into a concentration camp on the south end of Clarence. I know you are talking about, no, not a backside. Why help me somebody? Y'all so, man, I don't want to use condescending or disrespectful words and say y'all so dumb because um, it's just not okay. But come on now. Come on now. No. <laughs> we have to go to better than this, man. We have to go to better than this. Check this out. See the numbers, them, man. See people, them, man. Hear the sound. If you don't think I drop me, I make. And this is with no speaker. I'm going to put it on speaker. Watch people. Watch people. Watch people, a PNP party roll out, you know. Your music. Dance all in effect now. Them love dance all now, you know. Broke up, broke up. But wait, and who are them four or five Chinese men that were still up a front? Watch people. Mama P. People as far as the eyes can see people. Watch it. Hold up, the team. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I will say this. Watch me. I will say this. I told y'all there's a poll that they've been depending on for or uh, in cahoots with our listening to our whatever, been publishing for since the beginning of our political something. And that poll has never been wrong. That poll said last week, and I remember when I said it, like me said that poll said if election were to be held in Jamaica today, that Andrew Holness would retain his seat 
and that the JLP, the Jamaica Labour Party, who's currently in power, would continue to be in power for the foreseeable future or for the next uh, cycle until election call again. So in other words, then JLP would have won election again. I said that, right? And me no know. It is like PMP said, no, man, um, we have to go show a force because it's like we're not here. Nobody not pay attention to where we roll out in our numbers. Make them see we're there. Make them see say a whole heap of we around here. And them full up um, stadium. Full up stadium. Yeah. In their numbers. Now, all this political stuff, stuff that's going on is for them. For the politics. For the foolishness. I don't see nobody saying nothing about no UIC. Nothing. Uh, we're going to talk about the Donnelly Donaldson something first because that really needs to remember I told you all that they're going to sweep this under the rug and then quietly push it out the door y'all need to pay attention All right. this video tripped me out when Andrew went to the UK he is in the UK right now the right honourable Andrew Holness he's in the UK right now and he's there for the Queen's burial yes when the man got in front of the uh, king, so to speak, when he got in front of the king, I said, Jamaicans have a deep, I don't say deep and profound, I don't want to mix them words them. But see the whole away. Uh, uh, who Andrew I thought about. Let me put the speaker on it. Yes, man, in front stage and center. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, you might So the PM meets the king now. Listen. Oh boy! Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Orville Expressions posted this and I just reposted it. Me no know. Me no know who. The king said, You've taken such trouble. Nobody not invite you. I that that mean. When you when you show up at people's place and them say, You've taken such trouble to be here, you know? It's like you could have never, you could have bother not coming you know? up. Because Mr. Say, I will leave a trouble take for you to reach here. I will never really invite you still. But since you're here, right, kind of thing, we're going to be courteous to you and cordial. I hear him now. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No trouble at all. No trouble at all. As I'm telling the king, no trouble at all. Jamaicans, um, he, she was a good woman and a strong leader, a fair leader. And uh, Jamaicans have a deep... We have to go back in on this again. Because again, I don't want to mean I don't want to mean some demand words. Got you. I'm going to say it the when he said it so you can't hear it. Tell me if you know go England or tell life on the whole of it. Hear this. She was a wonderful person. Very, very kind. Jamaicans have a deep love and respect for her. And it's my honor and privilege to be here. <laughs> and it's my honor and privilege to be here. She was very kind. Mm -hmm. And Jamaicans have a deep, a deep. Anyhow, him over there. And when the cats are, when, how them say it in Jamaica? When the cats are away, the mice will play. So right now, JLP hold the arm hunger. PMP has the blade. In a sense, because JLP is in power. So Andrew oversaw a tell life, aren't we? But the, we, we, we have a deep sense of, deep sense of what, sir? You know, here the man say, you've taken so much, such trouble. You shouldn't come. In top one shot, in top one half a sentence shot of saying you shouldn't come, it's okay. 
it, but yet, since you're there, see me booty, I'll off your front eye. He said, okay, it's my pleasure. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. I'm so, hey, whatever. Listen, um, Andrew and him people them. So Andrew is away. PNP is playing. Big gathering are going. I'm sure I can't wait to get back because I'm all around up the whole of the green them and a sea of green. I guarantee it. A sea of green is going to be out and about after this. For sure, you say, Uno numbers big, but for we number bigger. <laughs> All right. Before we get into the Donnelly thing, one more. So, the brother here. Apparently, apparently, a murder investigation was going on. Them all showing a slow motion how him chuck, chuck the man over the wall, you know. I don't want to show certain people logo because they will tell me to take it off. The UIC reposted this. <laughs> the my makeup song for Noel. The UIC posted that, reposted it from the Gleaner. The Gleaner is very strict about their copyright, um, copyrighted mark being used. Anyhow, the man said, I saw the police deal with him. The police look at him and say, yo boy, I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man before police. I'm taking so I'll chuck him over. I will. I'll just chuck him over. I will. So it's not funny, you know. It's not funny at all. And like I said before, I would be mad as hell if it would happen to me or anybody close to me. But I saw them operate. I remember one guy saying he was in Jamaica and he was like, yo, they pull you over differently down there. Because when we up here and they pulling us over, you know what I mean? It like they get behind us and you see the sirens and whatnot. And you know, you got to pull your vehicle over because the police is right behind you. We in Jamaica, and I, all I seen was I seen a Jeep pull up with no doors, no roof or nothing, just a bunch of dudes hanging off with big rifles, and man just speed up right next to me. Zoom, went around us. He's right, right next to us, and he's like, yo, take that bomber cloth off our road. No. And he was like, yo, what the? F and he pulled like this. I said, welcome to, welcome to Jamaica. So... When the police tell us, say, yo, boy, I'm a bad man, you know. I don't know where you're on, I don't know where you feel, how you're pre. Hey, man, I'm bad, I lift him up and chuck him over the wall, so. The poor man drop a... <laughs> the poor man drop a hurt himself, brother. <laughs> if I did me, I should have me. To all the price, say, I should have me. If I did me, me now get up. My neck, my back, my neck and my back, my heart, my chest, everything in my bus up. I'm not call the ambulance. <laughs> I'm not moving. But I'm talking about. I'm <laughs> talking about M Y. We are talking. Man, a bad man. You know, police thing for him. Matter of fact, come here. Go over there. <laughs> yeah, and then grab your ball. Matter of fact, come here. Let's go over there, someone. <laughs> He's not, over the wall. Squaddy are ramp rough. Squaddy ramping rough. But I'll be honest. I've seen some altercation. I don't know in this particular situation. Uh, there was a woman there who they kept calling mama or something like that. So pe some people are saying that's his mom. Others are saying it's not his mom. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to say I'm mother. But an elder woman came and she was like, you know, all the old people them come sap you up. Oh, God, you bust your head around there. So all right, baby, hush. And then something there. So they feed him tomorrow for your ear. And they try to build your spirit back up. Shout out to the black women who build us up, man. Even in frigged up circumstances when us as black men have to go through it. Even at the hands of our own. And you're there to build us up and to sap the wounds. And, you know, still give you like a bit of sense of pride and some kind of belief in humanity still. Because we would have turned wicked enough away after half of the things that's been done to us. If it wasn't for some of you. But anyhow... Fling him over a wall, the man lick him head and them thing that flat out upon him back. Him looked like he was knocked out actually for a little while. Or he was contemplating a lawsuit and then him decided to say, you know what? Now come get up, cause me not think me'll get nothing. I jump in. <laughs> I jump here cause they say think about the lawsuit first. They're like, nah, dog, if you sue them, then probably kill you for real. Remember Kentucky kid, come on, get up. So then get up. Then they're trying to put him into a police car, but coming at a police car, my quick carrier go, um, Carry go hospital, go see if everything all right with you. And now the old woman said, No, don't put the door go in there. I should draw him go somewhere else. You could have bright forgot in a them car after them fling you over the wall. And at them you complain, pan brother, you end up on front page news. It's like you don't know how the thing works. 
while we were transporting him to the hospital after he had jumped over the wall to avoid being arrested by that officer, he pulled one of the officer's gun that was in the vehicle. The other officer turned around and fired two shots. I saw you end up dead. And he was killed in the back of the vehicle because he tried to overpower us. And this was security measures to keep us safe. Sorry that it ended that way, but that is what it was. And it'll be case closed. End of story. Don't fool yourself. You have to know things work on the ground. Not true? All right. So them in on the on the other side of that though, I've seen sometimes when I see Jamaicans deal with police in a Jamaica. I mean, clearly, clearly, there's no community nets. There's no cohesion between the police and the communities, especially in certain communities. There is no one love. There is no, we're working with you and we appreciate you being here and from the police and there is no big up on yourself and we have come through, come make sure we're all right. From them touch certain ends of so hard, uh, one of the wrong, uh, come out, uh, all these things, right? They even confront them. Them confront the police them all the time. Me see a brother, police have him gun, you know? And the brother say, what are you going to do, shoot me? I shoot you, I'm going to blood clot, shoot me. Well, if you shoot me, I have to go shoot me in front of everybody you saw me. I said to myself, so. Me not do that, you know? Because pride will make people shoot you. And then after them shoot you and kill you, now, your life gone. You can't come back. This a man, you know, where am I going to get? Sometime in a prison? Yeah, but then when they take it to court and twist it up and say you were the aggressor and the police feared for his life and he gave you 50 warnings before he fired and you still didn't back down, next thing you know, police acquitted. Walk gone free. Your life dash off for nothing. Some of them brave narrative. Them, I, I, that's either brave or stupid. Mr. Police back him gun the other day. I literally lick off about four, five, six shot right over the man's head. And the man, when he back the gun, you know, the man run up upon the police, you know, after the police back the gun. Oh, you're going to shoot me? Oh, you have to go blood class shoot me now. Shoot me in front of everybody then. I don't give a ah, flying F's words everywhere. The police raise you up so in the ear over your head and say, come, pow, 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 pow. See, man, yeah? Where that for? Where that for? Are you alone of gun? How oh, you think we're afraid of gunshot? How oh, you feel like you can't? I said, what the... Brother, we got to chill. We got to chill. So sometimes them deal with the police them some kind of way. When make a police feel like him want to pick you up, yo, just go over there, someone. Shut up. Go over there, sir. Because I'm here to do an investigation on a shooting that just happened resulting in a murder. And you in my face. The whole way. You're obstructing justice. You're frigging up my crime scene. You're doing all kind of something. I tell you, move over there. So I wait till me come talk to you. You're in on my face. All right. Yo, you, how you feel like? Through me uniform, you, you feel, yo, man, a bad man. I probably that the police said, or the police really mean say I'm a bad man. I don't know. But it is said that this police uttered and said, he was a bad man before him turned police. And I'm a bad man now. No make the uniform fool you. Hey, boy. Over there, sir, and pitch him over a wall. <laughs> Woo! Only in Jamaica. Uh, that was a corrupted cop, Willoughby. That was corrupted cop, Willoughby. See, people know him, I don't know him. Me now go sit up here and say he's a corrupted police. I have to listen to all the people involved, right? <laughs> police have enough restraint. In a... Yo, King Biggs, me not lie. I'm not lying. In the US, half of what I've seen in Jamaica, them would have either been dead for it, or you know, them would have fully up a taser so much that you forget all your name. We see them tears a man there and the man look like him and do some kind of boogie woogie. Him vibrate like 500 times so before him touch the ground. All when him touch the ground, see me? It they they would you not getting to do all that. You are not, you're not getting up this close. What's your black? No, you're not getting up this close to no police. You can't talk about no, shoot me if you have a blue cloud, shoot me, then you have to go shoot me in front of everybody. What am to you? How you feel like? Hey boy, and that's why reprisal, killing and murder, can't done around here, you know, you see all of them. 
When them done jump on you, you see, and spin you around and say you're threatening bodily harm and terroristic threats issued to a law enforcement official and disobeying the law and obstructing the course of justice and contaminating the crime scene and the list go when them done with some rotted charges by you feel America play. And Jamaica alone you get with them something there. Only in Jamaica you can get away with all that in front of a police. I was watching a video from the Bahamas the other day. And the police in the Bahamas, the boy, I don't know where the youth say. Well, it's a hard box. And that hand came, <laughs> that hand came around so fast that somebody was videoing it. <laughs> Here the boy, he get the box so quick, right? It's stunned. Him don't know what happened. Him think him win a lot of to the ear and ball. What? 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 What that for? What? You was running your mouth. What do you mean with that for? The police there tell you if you move from here, this is an entrance way to something or something. Him said something, mumble something, him not even say it out loud. That's how my granny them used to treat me. I bet you won't mumble nothing. Under your breath. I yeah, mean, no business where you say from me. Come out under your breath. <laughs> oh, yeah, you go. <laughs> Some of them need that, yeah, man. Some of them need that. I, um, I'm not one of them citizens that where say every every video me say, yo, them dirty police, they are corrupt police. There, I'm, I'm not one of those citizens. I'm not, and I'm not because see, when you live that life, you already have a different insight. See, me live the life they already on the law enforcement side of things. So me, me see, I me know how difficult it could be sometimes to deal with a civilian population. Now, a civilian population as unruly as Jamaica civilian population is. And them police, they have to live right there with them. Bad man and gunman have gone bigger than police at Jamaica, you know, don't get it twisted, you know. And enough of them know where them police boy they live in, you know. them know which part him mother work, them know which part him picnic them go school, them know which part him woman work, all that. So you think they're not at the mercy of gunmen? And a brother called in the other morning and I said, what? So Flo, my brother, police at Jamaica, and him get rejected by the FLA to get a licensed firearm to carry himself. The only time him get to carry him gun is the gun with them give him as a police, pan duty. When him left duty, he have to sign over or sign, put in him gun back in there and go home with nothing too long hands so. So imagine you out a road all the bad up people in the name of the law. Yo, pull that over. How much time you going to tell you, say, you obstruct the road, brother. Take it off of the road. And you get all kind of threats. And then in the evening now, you have to go take off your Superman cape. Because a Superman cape to a lot of them, you know. And the evening, you have to go take off Superman cape now. And put it up. And take off your Dark Vader gun them and put them away. And walk back out the door in front of the same people. Them one of them will kill you, my friend. And it's, an, it's a lot of times we see police get killed in Jamaica too, don't it? All right, so it's a rough job for them on, on both ends. I don't condone abusing the citizens though, because I know so some of them police are overzealous. I seen a video where one was being recorded and didn't know he was being recorded, and he might issue some death threat to the youth. You know, he might tell the youth, saying, the day I buck you up around this, so I say, just watch and see, man. Wait. Wait, you and your bridge in them. Watch and see. So, any day I buck you up around this up and these kind of things. Hey, but there are people that stand on either side. Some people stand for the police no matter what. Some people stand for the bad man no matter what. Call them say the police, them, the whole of them corrupt no matter what. Which will lead us to Harris Chang telling them to shoot, to kill. Now, this is your Minister of National Security telling your law enforcement officials to shoot, to kill. So here we are this morning. Let's start with this Donnelly something, right? Pay attention because you're going to be needed in this. All right. Shoot to kill, shoot to kill, bail hearing, bail hearing. All right. What has happened so far in the Donnelly Donaldson case? A bail application is to be made on October 4th. Remember, he was supposed to go to court uh, the 16th of September, which he did. And he was further remanded. So, he didn't get no bail now. But don't get too happy yet. Watch this. 
He's further remanded until October 4th. Pay attention. In the home circuit court for Constable Noel Maitland, the policeman accused of killing his girlfriend, Donnelly Donaldson. The date was scheduled or scheduled, as Jamaicans say, at them thing there. Why? When you go to Jamaica, they know that you are not Jamaican. Even one time you can broke out and chat pata like this and talk about, yeah, man, I will part them, they go, in around us, I come from, you know. Yeah, anytime you mess up and say schedule. Yeah, man, me have a schedule for follow. Come here for, yep, you're a Yankee. Because I'm a schedule, them saying that Jamaica is schedule. Little things that give you away quick, quick. And the person will turn up next to you. Fim radar go off. Bing, far in a day. I try to mask himself like say I asked where he come from. Anyhow, the database, the, the date was scheduled, scheduled when the defendant made his first appearance in the high court this afternoon. The judge, as a result, requested his antecedents, which should be submitted at the court registry by September 30th. So that means I'm going to in a lockup for a little while. The matter was this morning transferred from the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court via a null prosecu... Now, listen to me, people. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. Somebody say it each way, and we all know what that means. Say, potato, potato, and tomato. All right? All right. So please not come beat me with my pronunciation. I am not an attorney. And even if I was, different places pronounce things different way. Schedule, schedule. All right? All right. So here we go. The judge, as a result, requested his antecedents, which should be submitted to the court registry by September 30th. The matter was this morning transferred from the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court via a nulle prosecu or prosecui, Q-U-I. On the side, how on the one I said, I'm going to tell you what that is in depth, which was entered by the Director of Public Prosecution, DPP. Who is DPP? Who is the face of DPP that you know? Who? Because there are different people that work in there, but who is the face of DPP that you know? Talk to me now. P L. Her initials, Paula Llewellyn, right? All right. Paula Llewellyn office submitted a prosecute, a nulle prosecute, a prosecute. All right. In the meantime, the high court and his case has been transferred. In the meantime, the high court was also informed that the case file is still incomplete, but that the relevant documents should be submitted by November 11th. If the relevant documents are to be submitted by November 11th, how come a bail hearing is going to be made on October 4th? Hmm. All right. The accused has been in custody since his arrest. This is just the follow-up. Since his arrest on July 2017 in relation to the disappearance of his 24-year-old girlfriend, Donnelly Donaldson, who was last seen in his new Kingston apartment on July 11th. And he was report, she was reported missing on July 13. The police have indicated that investigations concluded that Donnelly Donaldson was killed on July 12th between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Ain't no way the police can be that specific with no proof. But we've seen them puff up them chest like this before, go to court, and judge shoot it down because they had no evidence. They're saying now that they do have evidence. They stated that this was supported by forensic evidence and technology. Technology, our people, the camera. The camera we see are going, but didn't come out. Forensic evidence is the blood that they found, right? And technology is the camera. All right. But noted that a motive still has not been uncovered yet. Why you do it? These kind of things. Let me read these two comments before I explain to you what it was that Paul Llewellyn's office submitted so you understand in depth what it is. I see some people doing a video on this and I read a comment. This is on uh, Instagram. Somebody was like, you're so dumb. You're so foolish. It was under the star or the gleaner, one of them on, on IG. You're so dumb or you're so foolish. Uh, um, a nulle prosecute, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a... 
administrative move. All right. I'm going to explain to you what that is. Why situations like these move so slowly in Jamaica, one person said. The police was arrested and the officer, the police arrested this officer on a murder charge based upon evidence that was found on the scene of the alleged murder. There's nobody found. There's no weapon found. Go to court. Try the case. If he's found guilty, charge him. If he's found not guilty, let him go. On a quick figure courty, how about take time, gather proper evidence, put this case together properly so that when you go to court, the judge is not laughing at you and throwing every friggin' thing out and this man walk away. How about that? All right. Remember me telling you before that some people are for police only and some are for the other side only. See? All right. The next person said, why would a policeman in this case, such a case as this, have the possibility of getting bail? Well, I want to say because he's a policeman, but favor granted, it is his constitutional right. It is. It is. And as much as we hate to say it, that's what it is. See? It? So when we, when we try to jump the gun and try to, even if you are convinced that a person is guilty, when you try to jump the gun and say stuff like, that's him when I'm in a business, put him in a prison, I'm in a care, I know why you're nothing else, then you are, um, you're not asking for justice to run its course, according to, I could understand a speedy trial, because everybody has a right to a speedy trial under the constitution as well. There's a man right now that's suing Jamaica who ended up getting a life sentence, I think, for a double murder. But he waited six years for his case to go to court. So he was just in lockup, lingering for six years, not knowing if he was going to be innocent or guilty. And at the end of the six years, them lick him with all that time. So he's now suing the court. Under the Constitution, he does have a right to a speedy trial. There's no way you should be police can supposed to come grab a citizen say you're, you're guilty we that's why we are grab you we are handcuffing you we're reading your your miranda rights you're going to sit in this jailhouse for the next six years until we decide say we want a judge to look at the evidence we have against you and a jury to decide if you are innocent or guilty that's not okay that's not okay right regardless if them guilty or innocent that is not okay because if it starts happening it will happen to any one of us so when you have to advocate for justice, that's the hard part. You have to advocate for justice for everybody. It's like when I see in the U.S. a boy rape a young girl, run down the street, murder a youth trying to escape, carjack a youth, shoot him out of him car, drive. Police are chasing him, crash the car and mash up himself, right? The police duty now is to make sure ambulance gets him and he gets proper care. The nurse who is at the hospital watched all this on TV as the helicopter was filming and they were chasing it. In that nurse, the mind, she is saying, you a damn rapist of a minor, a little girl. I'm a woman. I feel this. I have traumatic issues myself because I was molested. She have to put all that behind her. And she have to look upon him like a human that came in here hurt. And I have to clean up and stitch up this wound. And that's it. And that's how the law work. That's the difficult part of the law. It's not just drag them outside and execute them and move on with life. Because in a lot of cases, they have killed innocent people under the law. Right? Only to find out later, damn, it wasn't him though. It was somebody else. So you can't make that mistake there all the time like that. Anyhow, what, what Paul Llewellyn's office has submitted concerning the Dalini Donaldson case. This null lay is called null lay pros e q. Null lay pros e q, broken down for us in the law library. In the law library, here are some questions about it. It is a formal notice of abandonment by a plaintiff or a prosecutor of all or part of a suit or action, the entry of nulle prosecute in the court records. Okay. Is this nulle prosecute thing better than being dismissed? The answer to that is yes. A nulle prosecute 
is as same is pretty much the same as being dismissed. In most cases, it is a voluntary motion that is filed with the court to end legal proceedings against a defendant. All right. See there. It says in the Gleaner that the Department of Public Prosecution, DPP office, and I'm saying the brightest face of DPP that we know is Paula Llewellyn. There are other people that work there. So I never said that Paula put it in, even though she well might have, or she oversaw this because she is the head of that department. But her face comes to mind when you say DPP. Go into the law library and look up what it is that they submitted. A nulle prosecute. I don't care if I say tomato, tomatoes, and them say nulle prosecue or however they want to say it, Latin word, pronunciation, whatever. I don't know where it is now. Is the nulle prosecute better than being dismissed? The answer is yes. The nulle prosecute is the same as dismissed. And in most cases, it is a voluntary motion that is filed with the courts to end legal proceedings against a defendant. In other words, we're not trying him in this court. So, um, Senate go over this to see if them want to try him. Is nulle prosecute the same as not guilty? Effect of nulle prosecute or dismissal on the case. Is, non, is, is nulle prosecute the same as not guilty? The normal effect of nulle prosecute is to leave the matter as if changes had never been, as if charges had never been filed. In other words, walk away with a clean record. There was never no charges filed against you. We don't touch this. It doesn't go anywhere further from here. We put it on the table and back away from it. The normal effect of this nulle prosecute is to leave matters as if charges had never been filed. It's not an acquittal, which through the principle of double jeopardy, prevents further proceedings against the defendant for the conduct in question. All right. A couple more questions to clarify. Is nulle prosecute a good thing? Yes. The nulle prosecute is good because it represents the formal notice of abandonment of the prosecution without a conviction. So may I say? All right. So when they just put in the gleaner that this is what the DPP, <laughs> this is what the DPP presented, a nulle prosecute. You know, this is not the first time, you know, I remember when Paul Llewellyn went and said, um, we have no further anything in a certain case twice it happened and i watched her submit that twice no, nothing further and because of her nothing further those cases were thrown out and i went and did my own dig up on those cases now i kept asking myself okay she's a star prosecutor right how come she didn't why did she let all these questions slip how come she didn't ask these questions and it became clear to me that she could have asked those questions. Ah, clean D. Clean D. You know what me I talk. I don't know. X5 need our uh, X6. But you know, you know what me I talk. Okay, sir. So this vehicle, we understand that you were not on the island at the time because you we can see coming through technology, the cameras in the airport. We also have your flight itinerary. It says you boarded, identified as you. You don't just board a plane and come to Jamaica. You have to show your documents, right? So obviously you boarded a flight and we see you there as well in those technology. Camera can show you going through Miami International Airport, coming through Norman Manley International Airport, getting checked in. Obviously you weren't on the island, but this vehicle belongs to you. Who was driving this vehicle or who did you leave in charge of your vehicle? Your vehicle was an X6. It's not no jalopy. It's not no little boom boom car, boom backfire when time it I drive. Nobody not care about it if somebody thief it is a brand new X6. Not the average citizen of Jamaica does not own one of these and can't afford one of these. So who did you leave in charge of this? 
the safety of your belongings, your valuables while you were off the island. Who was driving this vehicle? Y'all forgot to tell me who did I drive the vehicle. It was never reported stolen. And then we found it. That's one question. The next one is when we found it, we found it in a, a place where it is considered a body shop, right? Okay. Your relation to the individual who owns that body shop is a good friend. Why was that same vehicle found in his establishment and bodywork being done on it? That seemed like you were trying, somebody was trying to hide something. What happened to the vehicle, right? There's something called vehicular DNA in an accident when two vehicles collide. If a red vehicle collides with a blue vehicle, the red vehicle is going to leave paint from the red vehicle on the blue vehicle and vice versa. That's called vehicular DNA. The, all that matches to that vehicle. So we know this was the vehicle that was in that incident, the shooting of Kajil Mace. None of these questions were asked. Them come forward and say, we have nothing further. That's it. We have nothing further. And that's the reason why that case went the way it did. Right? The only thing them could have charged a man for is something else other than because he already could prove you can't charge me for murder, but take me to court for it, though, because I know I'm going to beat the case. And they willingly took him to court for it, knowing he was going to beat the case. Because them already did have evidence, said him never dip on the island, so why would you take him to court for murder? You see what I'm saying? They played right along. They had the ignorance of our population riled up. Yes, somebody I got peer feed. Cam got court, yes. All along in the background, they knew. This ain't going to stand up in court. The judge is easily going to look at this and say, the man wasn't on the island, my friend. He wasn't. So it's not him to the murder. Off. And that's what they did. And once that's tried, where's the real murderer? Nobody cares. We have nothing further. Bye. Hmm. They need to put the like button on the live chat to get it up. Kaz Robinson. Boy, so I think, um, Will I, will I have a criminal record in my case if my case was nulle prosecute? Will I have a criminal record? Generally dismissed cases that result in a non-conviction qualify for expungement or record restriction. So like I said, wipe the slate clean, get along with life. So y'all keep paying attention to this. Keep paying attention to this. There's more on here. What is an example of a nolly prosecute? What is the purpose of the nolly prosecute? Who issues the nolly prosecute? What is one reason prosecutors may decide to dismiss cases? What happens if a prosecutor decides not to prosecute? Can a nolly prosecute case? Um, in a them people, I think we're breaking up. It's okay. let me know if you're hearing me still because it's connecting up there. So, all right, since y'all want me to keep on asking, right? It's 925 people on here, and there's only 276 likes up there. So, now stop talking and watch the like and see how far it can get. I'll give you 60 seconds. That's the update for that. So you move on to this. All right. It hurts you to it, it hurts you to hit the thumbs up button, huh? Uh, you know, I see, side note before we go into the other topic, I see Jamaicans on social media. Every time it comes to supporting their own, this is what they say. Me now subscribe. Me only subscribe to channels when me like. And channels when me watch. And I guarantee you, right, if I search their history on YouTube, they're subscribed to a lot of channels that they barely hardly ever even watch, Right? But when, when it comes to their own, they get real technical about it. But now subscribe. Let me ask you this. Does it cost you anything to hit the subscribe button? 
No, it doesn't. And if you enjoy the material, does it cost you anything to hit the thumbs up button? No, it doesn't. It doesn't cost you a penny. It doesn't cost you nothing at all. But yet still, you rather have one. Because a brother didn't have a long conversation with me. You know. He might try to go down the long road with it. But yeah, but you see, when time you did, man, shut up. Shut up. I don't even want to speak to you no more. See? And I actually said, this is the reason why I choose who I speak to. Because if me entertain everybody, people run in and feel like say, they're worthy of your time and presence. And them can just say, I'll kind of frigger in front of you. And you know what I'm saying? Listen, just hit the friggin' thumbs up button. And if, if that's for any channel that you go to and you like. Think of it this way. Support your own. Somebody said recently, I mean, I like the new movie. Right? The, the sister that called in the other morning said she don't like that new movie with the mermaid because a white people something now. Why are we always trying to imitate their stuff or trying to be included in their stuff? Why can't we create our own? On that level, I understand and I agree with that. Like when they were saying, boycott the Oscars. And I'm like, there's enough multi-millionaire and billionaire black people out there to put together their own type of show that would rival the Oscars. And we could actually be honoring our own instead of waiting for someone else to tell you that you're worthy of my trophy or you're not worthy of it. You're worthy. You're not worthy of it. You're worthy. You're not worthy of it kind of thing. Right. But we sit there and we I understand that part. On the other part, though, I want you to know this. White folks, Asians, everybody else, they never break character when it comes to supporting their own versus you. If you go on all these other per people I just mentioned stuff, you will see a whole lot of black people over there. If it's a white man, you will see a whole lot of black women over there. Damn, he's sexy. Look at his eyes. Because he eyed them must be blue or whatever. Damn, he's sexy. It's the hair and the eyes for me. It's the beard for me. It's the way he wears a jeans. It's the this, the that. This, this is your black woman over there, right? And then wh whatever else they're doing, you will see black people all up in it. When you come over to black people something now and our own stuff, then follow those same accounts. They'll be over here talking the most shit and they won't hit the subscribe or thumbs up button for nothing. But they'll show up every time to comment negative. Something is wrong with us. And me alone can't fix it. And But that's just the way it is. So when you find it difficult within yourself, this is a year of accountability. When you find it difficult within yourself, just remember this. Me no business about how much excuses you want to make. Just know that you are one of those people. That's it. And you don't have to prove nothing to me. You look you in the mirror. When you lock the bathroom door and you are alone in there, right? You look in the mirror so you know who you are. You for no say you are one of those people there. Another thing. Somebody yesterday telling me about so flow money is not everything. And when you this and you that and you must never compromise integrity for whatever I asked the question about. Your father being busy and setting up a solid foundation for your life. And I'm explaining that most wealthy families, the breadwinner, the man, he's off, busy. He doesn't have time to be home washing the dishes, taking the kids to the park, sweeping up the house, wipe down furniture, uh, all them something there. He's jet setting. He's out there making sure that... Everything is in place for his family to be able to live a good and comfortable life, right? And to excel in society. Some of them women are want a man where pays all the bills, right? He, this is us now, black woman, especially new age black women. They want a man that can pay all the bills, but not only that, it must pay all the bills. And then it must come spend as much time with the kids as I spend with the kids. And then it must wash the dishes and clean the house and pay for everything and do everything. Matter of fact, go outside when the yard need maintenance, cut the front and back grass, prune up everything, clean up out there. The two cars, our three car, our how much car we need, need maintenance. That's his job too. Everything a theme job. All they want to do is just sit around. And then them sit around, sit around, sit around and talk about, who oh, this is sweltering, how much work I've been doing. I feel like a single mom. I barely have any help. 
you know, before we get into the last topic here, my auntie and my uncle, right? My uncle used to run bus in Jamaica. I don't know if y'all know the Frankfield people, them and the people, the Simpson them with them bus there and them whole heap of bus bus. All right. Them father get each one of them a bus as soon as them hit a certain age. I remember my auntie being married to my uncle and I remember she never let this man go out without his food, his proper food put together. He never have to go road go buy fast food. He never have to go, he encouraged making at the morning. Whether it's banana porridge and them get up and grate a plant and banana and putting things together. You smell the food in that house before that man even woke up. And when him ready for leave, all his stuff is packed, packaged well and ready to go and send him out the door. And whether they was arguing the night before or not, she makes sure every morning when him wake up, feed thing ready already. Matter of fact, sometimes he's so tired, him will sleep past him alarm and a she I am back up alarm. I make sure she understood the assignment. She understood that he's the person that takes care of us, that give us this life, that we're living comfortably above the average. So we need to take care of him as well. Kind of thing. Nowadays, Oman, fuck you. Them talk to the man where pay all the bills and take care of them the same way how them talk to the little dirty boy that they had before where grind out them who will laugh about them with them friend them. Nigga, I'm just tricking that bitch. She giving up good pussy and she got good head. That's it. But I got to pretend like I'm her man, though. <laughs> oh, no. You cold, bro. But she fine as hell, though. And then by the time them find out, they're hurt. And them go, like, them go through life like that, right? And by the time them reach a good man, them act like say, all the other men they had before was even better than the good man with them have now. But, well, if he was that good, how the hell you end up over here? How you reach? Yes, so you know, should I did stick with them? Not true. You didn't walk away from a good situation. So don't abuse a good one when you find a good one. I'm just saying. And I have to go off script a little bit because the world is twisted and people are twisted to us. Nobody owes you nothing as an adult. I don't give a damn how much pum pum your game. Him give you dick in return. It's a fair exchange. Nobody not owe you nothing as adults in life. So anytime somebody reach out them hand and say, here's a straw, you express gratitude. That's it. That's it. And take care of the people who take care of you. That's common friggin' sense. You can't and chow off the hand where I feed you. Soon the hand ain't gonna exist. Oh, you got it somewhere in your mind that these hands come around very often and they're everywhere. Life have a lesson for you and it's gonna be a stiff friggin' lesson that you're gonna have to learn, right? With that said, the Donnelly Donaldson case, man, looks like it looked like some big cover up something about the tech place. Let me just put that out there. I know somebody says, well, that was just an administrative move that that nulle prosecute stuff was filed. Maybe, maybe it was one court system saying we're done with it, but they need to do that in order for it to be transferred to another. Maybe it's a procedural thing let's hope that that was what it was right we need to sign these papers just to say it's over here we don't want nothing more to do with it completely now you can transfer it over to this place i, I hope that that's what it was because if it is what how it's described in the law dictionary as in refusing to prosecute and basically leaving it as if charges were never even filed in the first place, then you can understand where this is going right here. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention to the Donnelly Donaldson case concerning Noel Maitland. Again, bail hearing are going to come up pretty soon. When that bail hearing come up, we'll see what happens. All right? But from there, we move on. So our... Minister of National Security, Dr. Harsh Chan, told the Jamaica uh, forces, security forces, to shoot, to kill. Y'all remember when uh, Donald Trump told the police, rough them up. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember what happened right after? Rough them up. Matter of fact, when you're putting them in the back of the car, don't just put them in there neatly. That's what he said. Don't guard their head. Bang their head into the doorway a little bit. 
throw them in the back seat, rough them up. All right, so Western Bureau, shout out to the Gleaner. National Security Minister Dr. Harsh Chang is urging members of the security forces to shoot, to kill. But here's the part. Everybody is running with, how am I going to tell them to shoot, to kill? Words. Words. Like I tell my children, when you see a sentence, don't read half of the sentence and think you know what everything means over there. Read the entire sentence because half of it means something different than the whole combined. National Security Minister Dr. Harris Chang is urging members of the security forces to shoot to kill when confronted by gunmen. When confronted by gunmen. I think some of these politicians, opposition politicians and lawyers looking for a stripe and some publicity need to have several seats in the back at this point. Me and this man, I don't agree with much. I really think he is a floozy as far as his work goes. National Minister of National Security at the WAP. You not doing nothing but collecting a big paycheck and Jamaica is ran into the ground as far as gangs and murders and reprisal murders and all these things are concerned. Our murder rate is off the chain. And up till now, you can't come up with anything to even slow that down a little bit. Matter of fact, it keeps on getting worse year after year. See? However, I have to agree with him if he come at it like this. If he's going to say shoot to kill, when confronted by gunmen, noting that the country was spending too much to treat criminals at these public facilities. See, it's one thing to say shoot to kill, even if they're running away and you're never sure if of them. But them did in the area. So when you go in a certain place, just shoot to kill. That's not what he said. I've identified you as the shooter. You're shooting at me. I'm a police officer or I'm a soldier. Why the hell am I trying to shoot your legs? Why am I trying to shoot your arm to see if I could shoot the gun out your hand? I know so it work. We're trained to shoot center mass, right? So that's straight up and down the middle upper half of the body when confronted by gunmen gunman have to go start and remember me telling them i said you never heard me come on here and say genocide gang warring with far side and let me tell you who are the leader for each me can out of them business that's why when me go jamaica me go everywhere if them people they see me them can't say Yo, the boy, they know how to talk about business like him know where the war about and him know where I go on. Me not know, I'm not care. All I know is you've decided that you want to live gangster life. More power to you, my friend. Me know I come with gangster life, so I chose not to do it, right? You know what come with it, but you still choose to do it. More power to you. It's just like a soldier who chose to join the army. And then next thing you know, them say, hey, your unit has orders. You guys ship out uh, September 30th. Today is the 20th. Today is the 19th. You have so-and-so days. Pack your shit. We're going to be in Afghanistan for the next 12 months. I'm, I'm not going to cry for you. you. You joined. You knew that that came with your job, right? We were all applauding when you joined. Yes, he's in the military now. He's going to be a strong, upstanding citizen and get some good training and be a soldier and a man of character. Don't start crying now because them say, oh, it's time for go to war. It comes with the job. Same thing in a gunman world. When gang war start, shoot down by police and shoot down by rivals comes with that. So if I that you choose, I that you choose. If you're out here and you decide to challenge law enforcement officials in a shootout, what would I look like over here telling police and soldier about try not to shoot to kill because they are citizens still. And maybe it's a youth will grow up the wrong way. Try to see if you can, like, issue some warning shot first. And then see if you can shoot him in his leg or something. I, you know how hard it is to hit somebody's leg when they're running and moving? You, you, and then me over there, gunshot while you and your cronies are firing my way. And I'm supposed to be conscious that I'm only trying to hit the arm. I just want the right hand with the gun, you know. Or I'm only trying to hit the leg. See, civilians, man... 
they trip me out because a lot of the time civilians don't even have a clue of how this work. Do you know what it is to be fired up on and you have to return fire? You have to close with and destroy the enemy, so to speak, because that's how we're trained, right? It's rough. It's rough. And the whole time you're thinking, Jesus Christ, more I make it home to my family. Your whole life start flash before your eyes. How old is my daughter today? What the last thing we do with my family that was fun? How are they going to remember me? I hope me not get shot in my face and them have a closed casket me. I hope me... You start thinking all kinds of stuff. So the man says, show to kill. And I back that. Shoot to Ross kill. God, you think gunman are shoot to... to <laughs> you think gunman is shooting to... Like, take out your uncle? Is that what you think? You think they come showing mercy, right? No. It's a world that a lot of us do not exist in. King Big says, I was told you shoot to kill. If not, you can be sued. And dead man tell no tales, not true? And the law wrap it up how them wrap it up. Now, as far as shooting innocent youth and put gun on them and them something there, me not in that. That's why I say any police that do that is a dirty police and I don't support them either. But I'm not going to sit here and act like all of them are dirty. Big up to the clean one them because if it wasn't for them, you know see how the place are going? You know, so this weekend alone, you know, we had two triple murders, you know, across the island and a bunch of other murder, murder here and there. Some of them domestic, some must be gang related or whatever. A story I'm going to put out later about a youth that flying from um, the UK and he was there visiting family and stuff. Drive by, ride by, shooting one. Him and him brother get killed and these kind of things while visiting. So all these stuff I'm going to put out later. But I'm just saying, when the club things are happening, you can't expect, you cannot expect law enforcement officials to do anything other than if I, your father, your brother, this is how he feeds the family, and he has a pride about protecting the country and securing the country, the safety of the country, you would be telling him, daddy, make sure you come home safe, you know. Brother, make sure you come home safe, you know, and make sure you go home safe to your family, you know. You wouldn't be out there telling him about, then you couldn't, when the people them shoot off fire, just try to shoot their uncle here, or try to shoot the hand with the gun, you know, but nobody try to kill nobody here. That shit don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. So I don't know why they're beating up Chang like this now. I don't know if they beat him because he's workless and he hasn't been doing his job. And I'm not afraid to say it. I've been saying it. He is so lackadaisical about being the Minister of National Security that it's shameful. Yet he maintains his position under the Andrew Holness administration. Andrew don't have no sense to look over there yet and say, you're not, you're not, you're not doing your, suppose where your job title say you're doing it. And this make the whole of it look bad. Yeah, you see the man in the parliament cock up a snow. <sighs> Them people that, he care zero. Care zero. Beat him upon that. But if he come out, see, the thing about me is this. I don't have a problem. Some people who like are low in listening comprehension skills and are low in their uh, objective reasoning skills, they they kind of like, hey boy, you're too multi, you're too side multi. One minute you said the man not good for Jamaica, the next minute yeah, I agree with what he said. Oh my God. I don't have a problem when somebody who I said before is a piece of SHIPP, you know and them non do them job and it don't look like they have Jamaica's best interest at heart. If they come out later and say something that makes sense, I'm not the one to be like, oh, me never hear that. I will still say yes when it makes sense. There's so, so why don't I beat him? That's so. Right? You know, if we agree hard line all the way to the left, or hard line all the way to the right, that's the biggest problem in Jamaica. Look at how they stand up for these political parties, regardless of whatever. Them faithful like some Donald Trump supporters. Hey, Donald Trump could take a school kid and slice the school kid neck on camera, and his supporters would be like, well, um, we're going to look into this and we'll get back to you. But I think that child was in the wrong. I, th I think that child, yeah, 
I think that child right there was conspiring to overthrow the United States of America or something. He's a part of a coup that was about to happen. They'll come up with something to justify. This is how blindly they follow. It's the same mentality that applies in Jamaica to PMP and JLP. When them lock in with them party, that's why I said to you at the beginning, pom, pom, pee, pee, pom, pom, pom. I'm an observer. What that told me is nobody gives a damn what their leaders are saying. Just be up there, man. Somebody can't worship you, and that's it. That's it. So with that said, anytime a man takes up a gun after a police officer, I expect Commissioner Anthony Anderson to train them so that when him fire, he must not miss. This is what the National Security Minister said. There may be fatal shootings because a man shoots gun after them. I not telling any policeman not to fire back. And I said it here in Westmoreland. I am not sending any ambulance out there either. Noting that gunmen must be prepared to face the consequences of their actions. Now, I don't know about the not sending any ambulance out there either kind of thing. But if the police see who are fire at them and them fire back and kill him, just know, sir, the man decides, say, hey, not even ambulance them now send out the field. Throw him in the back of one of them up and back truck there and drive the body go down at the morgue, which is what we see on video all the time, right? I don't want him to come give any trouble at the hospital. I am not in that business. You go to the hospital, it costs us $10 million to save one gunman life. I am not into that. When criminal see police come, he must surrender. Not one bag of shootout. Chang said that the police are well equipped to fight crime and that the government remains committed to boosting resources to help make communities safer. Adamant that criminals would not be allowed to roam freely, should not be allowed to roam freely and commit crimes with impunity, meaning them no business, them just run the island and them run the place. He was quick to dismiss concerns of these extrajudicial killings, which historically has triggered alarm in the island of Jamaica. Nothing that the police are noting that the police are trained to operate professionally and to only engage those persons who unlawfully challenge them. So this would be an issue. It would not be an issue. Well, there have been extrajudicial judicial killings. Um, him can't deny that all him want to. But it happened all the time. But the part where he talks about them being trained and hope Major Anthony Anderson trains them so they don't miss, that's what the training is all about. The training is all about you hitting the target. The training is all about you performing under pressure. The training is all about you being able to slow things down and focus while bullets are flying everywhere because the average human being can't do that. The average human being run and look for cover uh, or start ball out or freeze and get shot. You're trained differently. And I'm sure they're trained like that. So with that said, I can tell the judge what to do. I can't tell the judge what to do. I can't give him the laws and I can't, I can't give him, but I can give him a good courthouse. And I train the police officers to prepare the cases well. The $175 million police station, which is being financed through the National Housing Trust, is expected to be completed by early 2025. We never know so them have a $175 million police station that they're building. And then I take it out of the Housing Trust for do it. Um, that's a whole other issue right there. But I know that I talked about this morning. That could be a whole different video. Let's end this video this morning like this. Jamaica always festive. We're always keeping, right? I said this before. I'll say it again. We are on Netflix, HBO, Cinemax, and all these things. We don't need cable. We ever on, right? Whether it's happiness or sadness, we go both extremes. That's it. At the end of the day, when these news come out, let's not forget one thing, though. We're still a proud people. We're still a, res a resilient set of people. And not everybody is a gunman, a thief or on the wrong side of the law. There are many law-abiding, tax-paying citizens in Jamaica still. There are many loving, caring people still. So don't be overshadowed by all the others. And I close this morning by saying this because there are still people out there 
who are pushing the narrative. Why, when we watch your video, then me just cancel my trip to Jamaica. Lie, yeah, I tell you, wasn't going in the first place. Because me got it all the time and show you some dead. So stop with it. Okay? Shit happens everywhere. It just so happens that we're focusing on what's happening where we're concerned. Because we're family members, them still dead. And we still got it all the time. Right? With that said, have a wonderful day. Big up on yourself. Manners and respect to each and every one of you. Keep your spirits up. Keep good people around you. And if you can't, it's okay to be by yourself. Catch you tomorrow morning right here on Morning Thoughts with SoFlo TV. Big up the whole of Jamaica and them. Big up my whole Caribbean family because we are one people and one love. All right? Up, up, up. That means wake up, wise up, and rise up. I'm out. Peace.